subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand number of switching functions possible. So be, uh, to understand this, let's start with this example. For example, if you are given with two variables, variable A and B, and these variables are Boolean variables. So what does that mean? So variables are Boolean variables means each variable is capable of taking two values. So what are those values? It is 0 or 1. If, if using these two variables, what are the different combinations that are possible? So what it is given is there are two variables and the variables are Boolean variables. Boolean variable means each variable is capable of taking two values. So this variable is capable of taking two values and this variable is capable of taking two values. So with this combination, how many number of inputs, how many different combinations are possible with these two variables? So how many different combinations are possible with these two variables is uh, it is two, two into two, which is equal to four, which is which can also be represented by two power two. Similarly, if you take two variables, same variables a and b and these variables are capable of storing three values try to get the difference this variable is capable each variable is capable of storing three different values for example the values are 0 1 2 if each variable is capable of storing three different values how many different combinations are possible how many different combinations are possible this variable is capable of taking three values and this variable is capable of taking three values the number of combinations that are possible are 9 which can also be represented as 3 power 2 okay so if you generalize so what are those combinations let's see those combinations with three values for each and every variable it is 0 0 0 0 1 0 2 1 0 1 1 1 2 similarly 2 0 2 1 2 2 so these are the nine different combination combinations that are possible with these two variables which are capable of storing three values okay so this is the uh, if you generalize this concept if we generalize this concept how to obtain the equation if we generalize this concept there are n variables if there are n variables and uh, uh, and each variable is capable of storing m values each capable of storing uh, m values so how many different combinations are possible so the different number of combinations that are possible are m power n okay so usually you we use we use uh, uh, two variables a boolean variable so it is going to be 2 power n so if if it is generalized to different numbers then it is going to be m power n now with these combinations how many different functions are possible so let's try to understand it uh, very slowly so it is a bit uh, uh, tricky to understand we will go very slowly to understand this concept okay so for now so we have seen that given two variables given two variables and each variable is capable of storing uh, for example two values each variable is capable of storing two values the different number of combinations that are possible are 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so if this is the case how many different functions are possible switching functions are possible so what does that mean for example for example if a user wants to produce a zero for any combination any common for any combination the circuit has to produce a uh, value of zero so what does that mean if you take 0 0 it has to produce a 0 0 1 it has to produce a 0 1 0 it has to produce a 0 and 1 1 it has to produce a, a 0 so is it a function or not is it doing some uh, some work or not so this is what we call it as a function right so how many different kinds of functions are possible that is the question so for example 
for example if if the user is willing to produce a function and willing to produce a circuit and that circuit is what kind of function it has to do is it has to produce an output of one if all the inputs if both the inputs are one otherwise it has to produce all the it otherwise it has to produce the output as zero so what does that mean is if the uh, customer is willing to produce a zero for all the combinations except if both the inputs are one so if both the inputs are one then only it has to produce a one otherwise it has to produce an output of zero so what is this operation this is an and operation right and this is going to be a, another kind of function similarly how many different kind of functions are possible if the variables are boolean variables we have taken two variables and with these two variables how many different kinds of functions are possible how many different kinds of functions are possible is there are four combinations with four combinations how many different functions are possible with four combinations two power four combine two power different types of uh, functions are possible which is equal to 16 okay so what are the different uh, types of combinations that are possible if you take f3 it is going to be 0 0 one zero if you take f4 0 0 1 1 so f5 f5 if you take 0 1 0 0 similarly if you take f16 so the 16th function that is possible is okay so these are the different types of combination different types of functions that are possible so how to represent it is for example uh, how 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 to write these number of functions that are possible is for example given two variables given two variables and each variable is capable of storing two values how many different functions are possible how many different uh, functions are possible is the number of inputs that are possible is 2 power 2 power 2 and the number of functions that are possible is 2 power 2 power 4 so with with so what it is it is 2 power 4 okay so the number of functions that are possible are 2 power 4 so how, how did we got this 4 so that is important to understand how did we got this 4 this 4 is representing the four different combinations how we can write these four different combinations it is 2 power 2 power 2 so how did we got these four different combinations as we have discussed that it is 2 power n 2 power n means 2 power 2 here it is going to be 2 power 2 power 2 for example if there are m number of variables sorry uh, if there are n number of variables and each variable is capable of taking m values then how many different functions are possible the, the the number of functions that are possible are it is m power m power n are you able to get the point so it is m power m power n so with what this m power n with this m power n we are going to get the number of different combinations of uh, number of different combinations that are possible so with those combinations the number of functions that are possible is m power m power n so this is the generalized equation to find the number of switching functions that are possible okay so hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubts in the comment section below thanks for watching